Welcome. So what I have here is 3 minus 2x divided by x cubed divided by this whole fraction of 2 divided by x squared minus 1 over x cubed plus x squared. Now, previously, what we did is when we had multiple fractions in our denominator and numerator, we found the LCD and we combined them uh, so we have just one single fraction. And then once we have a single fraction over another single fraction, we can reciprocate and, uh, and simplify. However, in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the LCD of every single one of my terms and then multiply every fraction by that LCD. So I look at my denominator in each one of my terms, and I can determine that the LCD is going to be x cubed, x squared, times x cubed plus x squared. So it's really x cubed times x squared times x cubed plus x squared. Now what I need to do is I need to make sure I multiply every single term by the LCD. So by doing that, I multiply this by x cubed, x squared, times x cubed plus x squared. Over here, it's x cubed plus x squared times x cubed plus x squared. And then over here, it's x cubed plus x squared times x cubed plus x squared. Okay. Now, by multiplying every single term by the LCD, what I'm doing is I'm eliminating all of my fractions in my numerator and my denominator. So you can see that over here, my x cubed and x cubed divide out to 1. Here, my x squared and my x squared divide out to 1. Here, my binomial x cubed plus x squared and x cubed plus x squared divide out to 1. So now that's going to leave me with x cubed plus x squared times 3 minus 2x divided by 2 times 2 times x cubed times x cubed plus x squared minus x cubed times x squared. OK, um, so now what I can do is, let's go and see. I can now simplify. I, you see that these two terms, they both share an x cubed. So I can now, oh, this is actually, oh, I wrote that wrong. And that's going to be times an x squared. OK. So now what I can do is I can factor out an x cubed for in my denominator and see what that's going to shape up to be. So if I take 2x cubed times x cubed plus x squared, eh, I'm running out of room here. Let's do it over here. So if I take 2x cubed times x cubed plus x squared minus x cubed x squared, I can now uh, factor out an x cubed. So in factoring out an x cubed, so when I factor out an x cubed, I'm left with, when I factor out an x cubed, I'm left with a 2, sorry, x cubed times 2x, no, just sorry, 2, times a 2 times x cubed plus x squared minus x squared. Then I could apply distributive property inside of here. And let's see if we can simplify this even further. So therefore, I have a 2x two, two cubed plus 2x squared minus x squared. Well, therefore, 2x squared minus x squared, that's just going to become 1x squared. All right. Then you notice I can actually factor out an x squared as well. So it becomes actually x to the fifth times 2x plus 1. Whew. OK, so now OK, um, so now what I could do is I could actually distribute. Now I'm going to want to leave that factored out. So by factoring this out now, that's going to leave me with uh, x cubed plus x squared, which I can just combine to x to the fifth. So that's going to be x to the tenth. I don't know. Why didn't I simplify that? That's x cubed plus x. No, I can't. Yeah, they both have an x. You can't combine them. What am I doing? Yeah, no, you're multiplying. OK. Um, so anyways, that's going to leave me with x cubed plus x squared times 3 minus 2x divided by x cubed times 2x plus 1. 
And that is not the right answer. Then, oh, OK, so then over here, I can factor out an x squared. And that's going to leave me with an x plus 1 times 3 minus 2x divided by an x cubed times 2x plus 1. Factor those out. That's just going to leave me, that's going to uh, leave me that x squared will divide out. So I'll just leave me with a x in my denominator, which will be my final answer.